Hey everyone, I just finished shooting my first wedding and thought I'd share with you some of the comparisons I found in different stabilizers and Final Cut Pro. Of course, everyone knows uh, Final Cut Pro comes with smooth cam, and I already had Magic Bullet Steady from Red Giant Software, and then I downloaded a 14-day free trial of Cormelt's Lock and Load X. Here's a comparison chart from Lock and Load's uh, Cormelt's website, so it's a little biased. One difference I did find was Magic Bullet Steady is not as slow as it says up there. It's actually just as fast as Lock and Load X from what I found. All footage you're about to see is shot with a Canon 7D, and um, some of the clips are used in conjunction with uh, Lock and Load X because there's an option in Lock and Load X where you can not use the stabilizer and just use the rolling shutter um, artifact reducer. So that's that. Okay, here we go. This is the original clip, albeit color corrected. <clears throat> Here is the smooth cam clip and watch for the lens flare jump the, the screen. It's actually pretty smooth. And then here's lock and load X stabilizer with a shutter artifact reducer. It's still pretty shaky. It's actually worse than smooth cam. So then I combined smooth cam with just the rolling shutter from lock and load X. And that actually looks better than lock and load X by itself. Uh, Magic Bullet Steady by itself it jumps at the lens flare again. And then Magic Bullet Steady with uh, Lock and Load X's uh, Rolling Shutter Artifact. And this is what I actually used. I found this one to be the better of them. And uh, now you'll be able to see the difference between the originals on the left and Smooth Cam is on the right. And then here is uh, the original on the left and Lock and Load X with the Shutter Reducer on the right. And this is uh, the smooth cam with just the shutter reducer from Lock and Load X on the right. And then this is Magic Bullet Steady on the right. And then this is Magic Bullet Steady with Lock and Load X's uh, shutter reducer. So, so far I'm not too impressed with the uh, Lock and Load X's shutter reducer. Uh, I like Magic Bullet Steady the most. Um, here is the second original clip. This is the original clip color corrected and then uh, here's the smooth cam notice of course again the the lens flare uh, wreaked havoc on these um, stabilizers all except for lock and load which you're about to see um, uh, but first here's magic bullet steady boom big time lens flare foreground objects really messing it up and then uh, what's special about Lock and Load X coming up is that it has it can detect foreground objects and, uh, and differentiate that. So look at that. That is uh, Lock and Load X right there. But again, I'm not I'm not impressed by the sh uh, re uh, rolling shutter um, artifact reducer. And there you have it. Those are the comparisons between those three stabilizers. You can see my original wedding video, uh, a clip of it, at my website, lucasridley.com, and check out some of the other videos I've made. Hope this helped, and see you guys later.